So people ask me all the time, they say, Tio, how do you get young people interested in this hobby? The first thing you gotta do is stop using that old equipment that you got and start using something new and sexy. And this is a little dirty. Let's clean that up while we're, while we're talking here. And this is one of those things. This is a color LCD digital multimeter. I whipped this thing out at the Youth on the Air camp. I talk about it all the time. And the kids were like, oh, this is great compared to the, the clickety dial type that they had there. And I asked my friends over at Kaiweets, I said, what else do you have that's neat, that's different, that's, that's weird, that's out there? And they sent me these things. Let's talk about these things. These are pen type multimeters and this one is a, a multifunction voltage tester. This one's probably more useful uh, for electricians than this one here is. This one here is probably pretty cool. Let's see what comes in this box. This is the smart pen type meter and it's the ST120. It comes wrapped in its own protective little uh, jacket. We, do, we won't talk about that. What else do we get? We get a probe and we get an owner's manual. All right, let's put this back in here. Let's get rid of this. Because if it's too hard to use, then uh, it's it's gone. We get batteries. We got a screwed shut battery compartment. Let's get the batteries in. That screw just went up my sleeve. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's on. It's working. Get the case back together. Let's get the screw in place. What makes this thing special compared to a regular meter? What makes this thing special compared to a regular meter is that you have a single negative probe and a single positive probe, but instead of having the probes and the meter body as three different things that you've got to wield, you have, ooh, ooh, ah, you have a meter that you can hold like a pen and do your pen things. And then you have the negative terminal for your testing. Come on. Oh, it's tied in a knot. Huh. You have the negative terminal and the positive terminal. There you go. Does this have two caps? This has two caps. Awesome. So now I've got a little bit of protection in case I want it, or I've got the, the full unregulated, unprotected, no PPE involved version of this thing. So that is that. We got we got functions. It's an auto mode, DC volts, auto ranging, AC vo volts, auto ranging, micro ohms. Is this continuity? Ooh, that's continuity and it lights up. That's nice. That's pretty quick too. Diode tester, frequency counter, LI UE. It actually says live, live voltage. So it's got a it's got a live voltage detector on it. PA. What is PA and why is it blinking? That's weird, PA. Maybe we'll check the owner's manual on that. And we'll have to check the owner's manual on this, this H button. But it's got a flashlight too. So it does H and it does flashlight, whatever those things are. So we'll have to check out what H is and what PA is. Okay, what I have is a DC barrel jack, a 5525, uh, center positive, shield negative, and it's plugged into my bench power supply. And this is what I have. This is. This is what I have going on here. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the shield from the probe. I'm gonna hold that in place. I'm gonna keep the shield on the other side because I can, and we're in auto mode, 13.75 volts. So that works, and that works out pretty well. Let's take the, the cover off of here. Now, yeah, I can do this with a regular probe, but this is just a regular set of probes. But this is just a demonstration as to how this is. The other cool part about this is it is a lot smaller than something like this. So I like it overall. It's a pretty neat little tool. Let's check out the owner's manual that we tossed. I, I, I gotta go find that. I'll be right back. All right, the ST120 pen type meter. Is this owner's manual any good? Data hold flashlight. Press, oh, that's what H is. H is for hold. To turn on or off data holding. Okay, so sometimes, that makes perfect sense. Sometimes you're gonna get yourself in a situation where you can't see what's going on. So I'm gonna stick it in there, I can't see it. I'm gonna hit the hold button. Okay, so you have to plug it in and then press the hold button after you've measured something. So let's do this blind again. I'm not looking at it. Hold is off, it's set to auto mode. I'm gonna plug that in, I'm gonna plug that in. Hit the hold button, there we go, 13.75. So that does the thing, that's cool. Let's figure out what this PA is. 
Non-contact phase sequence detection. Okay, cool. Press the power key to power on, then press funk until PA shows on display to enter the phase sequence detection state. The letter A is flashing and stick the probe to the first phase line of the socket and waiting for a beep. English not so good, but not, not so bad that I can't understand it. Display the PAB setting with flashing B and stick the probe to the second phase. Wait for a beep. Display PAB C with C flashing and stick the sensing probe to the third phase. Wait for a long beep. At the end of the test, the display will show the detection results. I do not have any three-phase power to demonstrate that with, but that would be handy if you were doing three-phase power work. So not a bad little device. It's actually pretty cool looking. I like it. One thing I don't like is that relay clicking when you're working with live voltage. It's just a little, a little scary. I'm going to put the cover on there. It gives you a cover with this probe so you don't hurt yourself, and that might also be for some non-contact voltage type work. And then... We have a dust cover for this side, so you can stick that right in your bag, and it folds up tiny. I've got the power meter. Awesome. Let's take a look at the next gadget that they sent over. This is the multifunction voltage tester, and this is fairly similar. This is the ST100, so it's it's 20 less, 20, 20 not as good as the ST120. What do we get in here? We get a set of probes, a set of batteries, we get this, which looks a little bit different, and we get another instruction manual. I learned my lesson. I'm not throwing that one away. The screen release. <sighs> Let it free. Input in common. So this looks like it's fairly similar to the other device. It also does non-contact voltage. And the difference is that this one doesn't have the positive lead built into the meter. I wish this had a retention feature on the screw but it doesn't. It's not a deal breaker, it's just kind of a nice to have. And we're on. So it's set to non-contact voltage right out of the gate. Auto mode, frequency counter, diode, live. And it's got that same PA circuit as the last one did. Okay, so we've got some probes to play with this time. Let's get these probes open and plugged in. And they make this fairly easy for a first time user or if you wanna give this to somebody, plug in the red, plug in the black. Okay, so it's always gonna start off in non-contact voltage because that's kind of this thing's specialty. Move those up. Let's put that somewhere where you guys can see it. Let's get our test situation going again. Yeah, and see, now this is a situation where I don't have enough hands to hold all of these things in the same way I did the last time. Let's take the cover off. Let's do the same trick we did last time. 13.75. It took it a bit to settle on that. Hertz, 60 hertz, auto. So it takes a minute in auto mode. Let's see if there's a way to get this into... Not auto mode. So it's funny, the very first time that we do this, after it's had a bit of, of sleeping time, it's slow. That should be beeping the whole time. And then, before that relay clicks back, it's still pretty quick on the resistance measurement and continuity check. And it, again, it lights up for continuity. Those are, those are soft, those aren't hard, that's nice. But it takes it a bit of a minute. Let's do this. 13.75, let's put it in backwards, it should be negative. Negative 13.75, so that's doing the thing. And then we have that same hold function that we had before. I think it would be nice to put it into hold mode and then do the thing. But it doesn't work that way. So you do the thing and then you put it into hold mode. And we've got that same flashlight Pretty cool. Let's see what we can do about some non-contact voltage. I've got it in non-contact voltage mode. Nothing. There we go. So neutral, positive, 
and it doesn't fit into the ground hole. So same thing, neutral. This one, the wires are probably just closer to the tip. Positive, still doesn't fit in the ground hole. So you can see where that, that part would come in handy. The Kaiweets ST100 and the ST120, both of these tools are fantastic tools. They do the job that they're supposed to do. They even do more jobs than I have for them. I don't, I don't do three-phase work. I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm not an AC guy, I'm a DC guy. Uh, these things are pretty cool looking. This one here is the ST100. It's not the same product, obviously, as the ST120. The ST120 is the better of the two. It has better features. It has better selectability. It has it has better betters. You know, it does the thing. Um, this one here will get will get the job done. It would not be a problem for you. But this one is sold as a pen type multimeter, and this one is sold as a voltage tester. So for a voltage tester, it provides a bunch of extra features, which is pretty cool. For a pen type multimeter, it also provides a voltage testing function, which is pretty cool. I like that. These things are both in the $20 range, which I think is a fantastic price for something like this. They are targeted at two different markets. They do two different things. If I had to buy one, I would get the ST120, but this one isn't bad at all. And if you have an employee that needs to be testing circuits, then this is the way to do it because it's, you know, hand them this and say, go test it. And you turn it on and it shows up in non-contact voltage mode and you stick this probe in your electrical outlet and it's plastic coated so it's not going to give them a shocking hazard and then when they come back and you need to do some extra work you can plug your probes in and get to probing things pretty cool there are links in the description down below where you can pick these up uh shocker it's going to be amazon and like i said they're about 20 dollars as of the time of making this video these are pretty awesome you are pretty awesome there is a video right over here i think you should watch next i'll see you over there